everyone in this video I'm gonna show you how to extend the wireless range using point-to-point -point bridge mode on access point I'm gonna use Raytek AP900 so let's get started let's configure first access point connect AP900 to a computer using network cable please note DHCP server is disabled by default in AP900 so you need to use a static IP on your computer to access it. Default IP of AP900 is 192.168.1.2 Default username and password are admin admin. Now go to operation mode Select AP Bridge Point to Point and click OK to save the settings. Go to LAN General Setup and set a static IP for AP900. Now go to Wireless LAN General Setup, enable Wireless LAN, select Mode and Channel. Select security mode and enter security key. Enter MAC address of access point 2 here. Select channel width and click OK. Go to wireless LAN WDS AP status to check the status. Similarly, we can configure access point 2. On second access point, set the same mode AP bridge point to point. I'm assigning 192.168.1. Dot 3 IP address for access point 2. At this stage, there is no connectivity between two access points, and hence 192.168.1.3, which is directly connected to computer, is reachable, but the peer access point is unreachable. Now go to wireless LAN general setup. Please note that all parameters like mode, channel, security method, security key should be same as first access point. You need to enter MAC address of access point 1 under peer MAC address. Access points are configured now. We'll check the connectivity. Go to command prompt of the computer connected to access point 2 and check the ping response. Ping directly connected access point and peer access point one by one. Both access points are reachable now. Thank you for watching the video. For more information, you can go to www.dratech.com.au or send us an email on sales at dratech.com.au.